Now, let me give you the punchline. What you would like is to develop a community of practice, maybe a community of mindset on scaling up. Because the communities of practice exist, they are there. It's about land, it's about water, it's about livestock. You are there. Now, what we want is how can you do what you do with a scaling up mindset? In other words, where you have an operation that is already at scale, how to take it to the next level of scale objective. If you have an operation that is successfully piloted, how to take it to scale. But if you have a problem, you want to pilot, but do it with a scaling up mindset. That is, ask yourself, what do I do if it works? That will avoid expensive boutiques, of which we have so many. So you have here some examples. This is China. This is, they call it black dolphin there, but this is guinea pig. Uh, this woman started with 10, now she has 30,000. 30, she migrated from Shandong, and uh, IFAD is just telling her how to take care of the animal, etc. That's what she's getting as support from IFAD. 30,000. Here, this is about tomatoes. Behind this, of course, you have access to irrigation. You have access to water, access to markets. All of those, we're calling them scale, space to grow. Here you have Peru, uh, Julio, you may remember uh, this. This is Peru. Uh, of course, it started with a, uh, area development, landscape development. Then we added uh, um, um, uh, market linkage, agritourism. And then we had the third phase of both. But it took us 25 years. Uh, this is, uh, you have rural finance, and this is some, something else. So let me just slip through quickly. Uh, Contest your channel, you know these things more than, than I do. This is what I've just said. Uh, you have a pilot. Uh, uh, <coughs> if you, you have an idea, you pilot it. Very limited impact. Or if you have good learning from inside and outside, then you impact. So this is a scaling up. This is a black box which you open by using this kind of tools. So you have, again, this is a different way of showing it. You have the little bubble innovation, how you get here. We are saying a number of driving forces take you from there to here, but you have a number of obstacles, which we call space, which is more positive. It's about uh, finance, institutions, policies, laws, regulation, etc. Now, the pathway, this is also another way of showing it. You can have sort of infill. You stay in the same area, you do more of the same. You can have horizontal pathway if you just replicate horizontal, if conditions are, again, the same. Uh, you can go functionally if you're moving from one like, productivity increase to, let's say, uh, uh, market linkages and processing, etc. Uh, uh, you can go vertical, that is, you start, you have a successful innovation and you start working on policy and institution for more of it to happen elsewhere uh, uh, with private sector and other players. So these are the framing questions that you use to open this black box. This is what we showed earlier. And these are simply framing questions. These are the definition you've seen. Some of you have seen this yesterday, and we have more of this here if you are interested. This is what we are using now. And of course, these are very simple, basic questions. When I speak to you, what we are trying to do now is, in fact, with our colleagues from the technical division, is to customize them in specific thematic areas. This is also some of the things that are being, some of our colleagues in IFAD are being inspired to develop. They are reading over what scaling up uh, means. This is one of from our colleagues. You see this little bubble here, IFAD. If you put together projects, knowledge, and policies, you go to scale, and that links you up with the communities, banks, remittances, and all sorts of things. Uh, again, let, allow me to... Uh, go through this very quickly. Now, in IFAD, of course, we've been very systematic about this over the past four years. We started with some case studies. Peru, we look back 20 years back, we did it. But how do we make sure that we want to do it? We want to be there. Here we are, we want to be there in 5, 10, 20 years. How do we go about it? That's the question. It's not just about Peru. We've done it in Ghana, we have Moldova, we have tens of countries where we have done it. But the hard question is, We've done it, but how can we go about it in a more systematic manner? And I'm sure you deal with these kind of questions every day. So this is a community of, of mindset. I've gone through these questions. Now, if you look at the bottom part of it, these are the basic kind of a sort of questions or the kind of thing that we need to do together. That is, have a common understanding of what works, what does not, and why. 
have a common understanding of visions and targets. We're not trying to predict the future, but we can set targets and try and go there <coughs> and define indicators of process, outputs, etc. And then have coordinated pathways. You've seen earlier some, some slides about the pathways. Now, this is a joint learning agenda. This is the last uh, slide. Uh, we've, done, do, we've been doing a lot of these things. Of course, last year it was launched in Washington, D.C. Then we rolled it out in Addis. That's the event that we co-sponsored with the Secretariat. And we would like to do more of this, but this time not just with the Secretariat as organizers and organizing venues, but we would like to have your groups and your thematic groups taking this and running. That is, you do your work with a scaling up mindset. And from what you do, then we can use it and put it back into the learning pot so that other groups also learn about it. Now, uh, uh, what's happening, what we've done is that we have had, you typically, basically, the way we do this is we have a common understanding on concepts and issues, etc., that we've been going through now. We do also some ride shops. Basically, we apply those to specific areas. World Bank have done it. You've seen some of their publication. Uh, many, many other partners have done it. They have developed development tools, etc. We've done it in Kenya, China. You've seen all these countries. Um, and this year, we want to organize a multi-stakeholder uh, uh, event in 2014. And this is where we want to work with you, uh, uh, with you, of course, as members. We would like to work with you at country level, among yourself and with us and others. But with the Secretary, what we would like to do is to organize sometime this year, in June or September, to be confirmed, a joint learning event on scaling up, to have that conversation on concept and issues, and to apply to a specific number of thematic areas, including maybe land, why not? Including livestock, why not? Or the ones you're working on. And we may want to maybe have more discussion on this in the form of a joint briefing. Thank you.